Hey guys, and today I'm giving you a how-to tutorial on how to make your own wallpapers. Now, this is my way of doing it. I don't really require much. I don't require too much detail and design and this and that and the other. All I do is require a background and some text. So what I'm going to do is show you my method of doing so. It's pretty easy, very simple, and it works every time. Um, so let's get right into it. First thing I do is open Google Chrome. You can open any web browser. It works the same. What I do is in Google, I do use Google, so make sure you're using Google so you get the same results as I do. Type in desktop wallpapers, hit enter, and you get this. Now what I did is I basically went through, kind of, you know, skim through images. What you want to do is you want to skim through images and, um, whoa, okay, sorry about that. So skimming through images, and you pick one that you like. So, okay, you know, it's, it's getting closer to fall, so I, I like this. Um, so we're going to wait for it to load completely, and then what I do is I just drag it drag it to my desktop and then you'll see the picture right here it's going to be in a JPG file sometimes a PNG just depending on what website you get it from so now to make sure this is a clear image first what you want to do is right click on your home screen and go to change desktop wallpaper this is a Mac tutorial but I'm sure it'll work fine on Windows so click on that and boom it's clear clear as crystal so now what you want to do is go back to Google Chrome and bring up this one site what I type in is text to photos, and the second one is pick font. Click on pick font, and it brings you up with this. Very, very fast. Click on select picture from computer, and select the picture that you just um, downloaded on your computer and tested to see if it was good. Um, now, sometimes it will ask for a resizing. Just hit OK and see how it looks at the end. It might look fine, it might not, but you do have to fiddle with this kind of stuff a lot, but at the end, you'll love the results. So now, what you want to do is center your text to whoever you want. I'll put it right here, and then you enter the text over here. So, entering the text, you can say, you know, um, fall. Boom, okay? And then you center that however you want it. If you want it up like that, if you want it like right in the middle, if you want it like right on the road, kind of like that, which looks pretty neat. And then you can also resize it, of course, by using this little thing right here. Now, you can also change the color. So if you want to give it that more fall look, you know, and then you can also change the font. Now, the problem is it doesn't let you see what the font looks like until you click on it. So, like, say, you know, um, Maxwell Bold, like, I don't know what that looks like. So you have to click on it in order to see it, and there it is. Um, now we're going to go back to a different color, like white. I think white will look good with this, yes. Um, okay. So, I think I have what I want at this point. So what I'm going to do, and you can, you know, there's all kinds of other things you can do. It's, you know, really, really cool. Um, so then you can save. Uh, what I do is instead of doing all this, and you can, best quality, best quality, best quality, um, I would just do a PNG best quality large file right here. And then wherever your downloads is, depending on what web browser you use, go down, drag it to your desktop. Minus out of that page, minus. Because if this doesn't work, you want to go right back to this page and try it again. So you don't want to have to go back by typing it in and all that kind of stuff. Alright, so now you have it on here. What you want to do is right click, change desktop that background, and find the one that you just did. And if you want to make it easier on yourself, just delete the old one. But that might not work because if you delete the old one and this one sucks, well, you're going to have to find this one again. So probably not do that. But there you go. And same quality, really. Maybe a little bit worse, a little bit better. In this case, mine was a little bit worse. But it's really all the same stuff. Um... And there you go, there's your wallpaper, fall, there it is. Um, that's it. <laughs> so that's really all I do. That's all I do to, you know, do my wallpapers. And again, in this case, I would change it. I would try to find something different because that was very, very bad. So what I'll do is maybe just click save and not do any of these and see what the difference would be. So real quickly, just to add on, I'll go here and click on that. And actually, it looks a little bit better now. <laughs> so, you know, you, you just have to fiddle with it until you get the right, um, the right kind, I, I don't know, the right quality. Anyway, um, that was a, you know, real quick tutorial on you know, how to, how to, um, get wallpapers on your device in a very, very simple way using a method. So, if you enjoy, give it a like, follow me on Twitter, both accounts, and visit my website. Haven't really been doing much on it, but... You know, it's always good to you know keep it in your favorites and look at it from time to time. I do update it sometimes. 
um, when big things happen in the tech world, I do go on that channel right away, so or that page right away, so stay tuned for that, and I will see you guys later on today.